Okay guys, I know it's been a minute since my last upload and I apologize, but life gets busy. So here is a not so happy update with the 2022 Voyager. Um, long story short, my brother-in-law and I were out for about a three hour bike ride. We had to go to a funeral. Um, but anyways, on the way home, I noticed a particular smell. And if you've smelt it before, you know exactly what it is. And that was antifreeze. I smell antifreeze on the way home. Well, we're about an hour and a half away home and I'm looking to see if I can find where it's coming from. Uh, my temp gauge was reading normal. So uh, I knew it was leaking from somewhere. I just couldn't find out where. So I was just hoping that I could get home, which I did. And um, when I got home, I was able to find the antifreeze leak and I will zoom in here for you guys. And on the right side, passenger side of the gas tank, right under here, if you can see right where it's coming out of, I believe it's coming right out of the thermostat, out of that uh, hose there. So I'm not sure if my hose clamp backed off or if I've got a hole in my rubber hose there. But anyways, I have now got to take my tank off and dig a little deeper. Yes, it's still under warranty, um, but if it's simple as tightening the hose clamp, I would just like to do that and be able to ride some more. But I'll take the tank off, see what I can find, and let you guys know if it's more severe than just a hose clamp. Um, for those of you that own these bikes, let me know in the comments, is this something that is common with these? Is this a known issue? Or did I just happen to get a fluke with a hose clamp that rattled loose? Because um, I don't know. I, it's just unfortunate that a bike with... Well, how many miles I got on here? Not very many. I've got... 2,400 miles is all. And I've got a leaking antifreeze. It's disappointing. Um, but I still love the bike. It's an amazing motorcycle. It's unfortunate that with a brand new bike essentially still that I'm having to take my gas tank off and do repairs. But hey, I'm fortunate enough to be able to even have one of these. So I really shouldn't be complaining too much, but still I just wish for a $17,000 bike that I wouldn't have to be doing this. Uh, let me know in the comments as well if you wanna want me to do a video of taking the tank off and that stuff. But I might record it and if you guys want it uploaded, then I can upload it. Either way, so. I will let you guys know what I find and hopefully nothing too severe, just a hose clamp. See you guys on the next one. As always, be safe, ride safe, ride smart.